Thank you, Lamar. I promise you all are going to eat as soon as I am done. Um, you all look incredible. I appreciate you being here. I am so thrilled to have you all here as we celebrate this incredible landmark year for SMILE. As Lamar said, my name is Erin Whalen, and I use she, her pronouns. First, before I begin, I want to send a heartfelt shout out to the amazing team at SMILE. Your daily dedication never ceases to amaze and inspire me. It is an absolute honor to work alongside you as we support LGBTQ plus youth and champion their right to a brighter future. Also, a special thank you to our donors and board. Without you, none of this would be possible. Two years ago, when I accepted the role of executive director, my family and I packed up our lives in Austin, driven by a profound desire to find a safe, and respectful environment. This was especially important in the face of escalating anti-LGBTQ laws and restrictions on reproductive freedom and bodily autonomy in Texas. As I share this with you, I share this with you, um, because for countless families across the country, this is their brutal reality as more states and school districts continue to limit and target the rights and protections for queer and trans youth. While I hunt, continue to hunt for my favorite breakfast taco here in DC, <laughs> knowing I now live in a community committed to inclusion with organizations like SMILE leading the charge has made me confident that moving here was the right choice for my family. <clears throat> All right, she's gonna die, but a quick shout out to my daughter, Grayson, who's here today. I think my mom got her here because she heard that Hunger Games was filmed in this hotel. Um, <laughs> having her here, understanding our mission and why I choose to do this work adds profound meaning to this moment. It's easy to feel safe in our DMV community. We live in an area that protects our freedoms and individuality. However, even SMILE has not been immune from politicized attacks and hateful rhetoric in recent months as a far-right news outlet sought to twist our life-saving work for queer and trans youth into something shameful and nefarious. This attack was personal and violating, but what kept us anchored was focusing our efforts on ensuring the safety and security of our staff and the youth and families we work with. The future is uncertain in terms of what obstacles and hate we may face. But there is one thing our organization has learned over the last four decades. It's that our community will always outshine hate and discrimination. We are here today resilient, proud, and full of hope. I want to highlight the powerful force that has driven SMILE since its inception, the collective power of community. Forty years ago, SMILE began with a spark, a shared vision by a group of passionate individuals who saw a need and took action. That small but dedicated group came together, recognizing that queer youth were desperate for a safe space, a place to be seen, valued, and supported. Our SMILE founders planted a seed, and our community nurtured it growing into a vital, thriving organization that provides a wide range of services to support the mental, physical, and emotional well-being of queer and trans youth. Like any plant, SMILE has not always grown under ideal conditions. The current anti-LGBTQ rhetoric, especially the attacks on trans youth, is terrifying. And while this may feel like a dark time for many, it's important to remember growth happens in darkness too. We've, thank you. We've grown and thrived despite a world that sometimes seems intent on pushing us into the shadows. One morning, while I was on a walk listening to a podcast, as I do most mornings, I heard a story about a monstera plant. You know, the one that looks like the Swiss cheese, that leaf. Bear with me. I know it's cliche. All lesbians love their houseplants. <laughs> but... This story really has a good point. 
The story was about the resiliency of monsteras. Fun fact, these plants grow in the rainforest and have adapted to grow through the darkness. While most plants reach towards the light, monsteras know how to thrive even in the shadows, instinctively trusting that while growing in the darkness, they will eventually find the light. In that story, I found hope. We are that monstera. Our community has gone through periods of immense darkness, and yet we have always found our way to the light. During this anniversary year, looking back at where we started is powerful. But let me be clear, our past is a place of reference, not residence. We honor it, learn from it, and use it to guide our future. We are leaning into new possibilities and opportunities with renewed purpose. Why? Because the future is always worth fighting for. We are just weeks away from a national election whose outcome carries significant weight for our community. The importance of strengthening support for queer and trans youth has never been clearer. The fight for LGBTQ rights and inclusion is ongoing, no matter who wins in November. As James Baldwin once said, not everything that is faced can be changed, but nothing can be changed until it is faced. This is a marathon. We are running, not a, we, this is a marathon. We are running, not a sprint. It spans many election cycles. We cannot change deeply ingrained biases and systemic discrimination overnight. But by facing it every day, we pave the path to progress. For 40 years, SMILE has built something remarkable together, and we will continue to do it every single day. By centering young people and by providing spaces of affirmation and safety, we are actively creating a world where queer and trans youth know they belong. SMILE's work is proof that progress is possible, even when the odds seem stacked against us. As we face an uncertain political future, we need you to stand with us now more than ever to fortify support for queer and trans youth. Your support is an investment in a brighter, more hopeful future, a future where LGBTQ plus youth are protected, respected, empowered, and given every opportunity to thrive. Thank you for standing with us, believing in SMILE, and for helping us plant the seeds of change. Together, we will continue to grow our impact and be the light for so many in our community. Here's to the next 40 years and beyond.